Hi guys, Carol Melling Engine Parts. We're in the tech department here today. We're going to talk about the bypass system for the AFM and the GM LS engines, um, which includes the uh, bypass valve that's in the oil pan. This valve is designed to regulate pressure to the v -loam, which is the oil manifold that controls the active fuel management in the GM LS engines. So the LS engines with AFM tend to have issues with oil consumption. A lot of the problem with the oil consumption, the GM LS engine, is this bypass valve. When this bypass valve opens, it sprays oil, which gets pulled up onto the crankshaft and ultimately just sprayed up onto the bottom of the pistons, cools the pistons, sticks the oil rings, and, and there's your oil consumption problem. Let me demonstrate that. So as you can see, we've got a good stream of oil coming out of the bypass ports on, on this active fuel management bypass. As the crank's going around, you're going to get windage and that oil pan's going to pull it up, spread, throw that oil all over the bottom of your, of your pistons. To alleviate that, GM introduced this deflector for the uh, bypass valve for the active fuel management. This goes underneath this valve here. The part number for the melling deflector is MOD100. The part number for the new melling valve is MOPR100. To replace the valve and install the deflector, Simply crack it loose, install the valve inside the deflector. The deflector, the skirt points down. As you can see, now that we've installed the deflector, all of that oil that was spraying all over here is now directed straight back down into the sump of the oil pan. Anytime that you're servicing the oil pan, it's a good idea to replace this oil relief valve as well. Um, it's a basic relief valve, just like the you know oil pressure relief valve in an oil pump. It's got a spring with a valve. Um, heat cycles are gonna you know wear on the spring, um, as well as you know miles of usage. So um, anytime you've got your oil pan off, I would always put a new one of these valves on. Also, make sure the deflector's on there when you're replacing it. Um, I'm Kale from Melling. Thanks for watching, guys.